All right, here we go. So first I'm gonna start with the horizon line. I cheated and sketched with pencil, but horizon line it up if you're drawing with me. How I've been sketching waves is um, I kind of draw like a kind of a, a hump, but I make the top part like kind of bumpy like that and then finish it off with a smooth line and then come in down here and do the same thing and then connect it. So that like scratchy little situation right there is going to be like the white frothy part of the wave. So there's my two. And then to like spice things up because you did see that there were like regular waves in there that don't have any white caps. I don't know what the technical term is. I'm not an ocean like I need to be better at that but I don't know what the technical term is. I'm sure someone knows. But I'm going to add three of these. I don't know where to add it. I think I'm going to add it right here. I'm going to draw some clouds up here. I've already actually drawn them. But I'm going to pen them in. So when you're drawing things, you want to make there be um, things in the foreground, the middle ground, and the background. So this little cloud is going to be the closest thing to you, even though it's the smallest. It's not going to have anything in front of it. Same with this one right here. Two clouds in the um, middle ground. So they're just going to be hanging out right behind that first two small clouds. like that and then I'm gonna draw one big one in the background because I mean it's a full sky right there's lots of clouds so he just kind of pops in here in the background so when I shade him in he's gonna be the darkest all right and then there is a Sun right here but like I said I wanted to put some clouds in like in front of the sun. So I'm gonna start and work my way from the foreground to the background. So I'm gonna add a few little clouds. I'm gonna even do some over here. And then I'm going to put the sun right here in the middle, I think, somewhere. Like right there. I'm going to start, um, you know, sketching in some stuff. And when I'm doing this, all I'm doing is, it's kind of like my next step. It's so that way I know where to put the darker tones for watercolor, if that makes any sense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of sketchy lines and I do a lot of like scribble and a lot of just regular lines to thicken this up a little bit. I'm going to do it to all of them. It's not going to be perfect there, you know, like it's all about the sketchy lines. It just thickens up the line so that way I know that you know, those waves need to be a little darker than the rest of the ocean, right? And then in these little white caps here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, see this line right here? I'm just going to make many lines following that line and pull it out. Same here. Lines when you're, when you're doing cross hatching or any kind of paint shading with a pen, it's really nice to use those lines as like guidelines. So use them for the direction that you want the eye to go. And then if you think that like maybe it's a little too harsh, then you can come in here and add a bit of a thicker line through there. 
I'm gonna do the same thing here. Not too many, real subtle, especially because my page is like the tiniest thing in the world. I'm also going to kind of like make a few lines on the horizon, real light. I'm like barely even any pressure just to give the illusion of like waves back there, but not too much, just a few. You can kind of do that all over, really. Like that. And remember, the sun is going to set right here. So the sun is like a round object. So I just want to kind of pull in some interest. The clouds are darker, or I mean lighter than the sun when they're in front of it. Most likely they'll be like a different color. So. Um, and then anything behind the cloud, like if you have a, a cloud that is in front of and behind, you want to darken up that area right next to the cloud so that way it casts the shadow. So I made these lines go this way on this one. So in the background, I'm going to make that cloud have um, shadow lines, but going a different direction. So those lines are going this way. I'm going to make the other lines in this big cloud in the very background come towards this way. So shoot more towards the right. That way they don't run into each other and they don't blend together. You could also make them like closer together so that way they're darker. bending my corner and when I do this I try and keep if it's the same cloud I keep the lines going in the same direction so over here when I come in they're con they're still going towards um, this direction which is the right now I need to just shade this back one right here and I want to go in the opposite direction that I went with uh, the very back one so I'm gonna go towards my right a little bit. It gets a little harsh right here when you're just putting the lines up. So if you add a little bit of a squiggle, almost like um, the same thing we did down here on the horizon, you just add a couple lines, it kind of softens it a little bit and it gives it um, an easier transition. If that makes any so sense. I like to work in layers. I have a blue-green situation down here and I'm just gonna mix the two. What it is is it's um, what is this, phthalo blue and olive green. I'm just mixing them together because honestly this um, ocean is very green tinted and so I'm just adding a little bit of phthalo blue like that and a little bit of olive green and it creates a pretty nice like greenish ocean color. Yes, mixing. All right, now when I'm painting, I don't wanna paint the swells. I wanna keep those white. So I'm painting around them, pulling up my green mixture. And I paint not only in layers, but also in sections. So once I get that layer done, can you guys even see that? I have sunglasses on. That's how light it is. That's how light I normally start. Um, once I get that done, then I move on to the next section, uh, which will be the uh, sky portion. I'm just mixing up some more of this because I really liked it. This is halo blue and olive green. And you know what it makes? Pretty much phthalo turquoise. Here's phthalo turquoise. And it's a little more green than phthalo turquoise. So. If you don't have phthalo turquoise, that's what you should mix. Olive green and phthalo blue. All right, so moving on to the sky. It's just, a, I'm gonna make it a solid blue, but I don't know exactly what it is. And it's a little too dark for me. 
So if it's dark, I cleaned off my brush and I pulled the pigment all around the cloud. It's a light wash, so that way if I want to, if there's like yellow and orange and whatever, if I'm gonna add that to the, um, the painting, then I can. It's not gonna make like a muddy brown or anything because the, the wash is so light. So I'm going around the clouds. I can't remember this color. I should do a better job at like knowing my colors. But it is what it is. Ultramarine, you know what? That could be it. I don't use that color very often. All right, so nothing's dry because we're in Florida and I'm getting like sprayed with water. But I'm going to start on the clouds and the clouds are like, I don't know, a hair darker than the sky, but they do have the light coming out from behind them. So, awesome, thank you. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a brighter blue. So I'm gonna take the, um, the phthalo blue and mix it with the ultramarine blue. I'm gonna add it to all the dark parts. Dark parts. I'm starting with the very back of the, or the very last cloud. And all I'm doing is I'm touching the places where I put all the um, pen, and then I clean my brush. Sorry, I bonked. I bonked the tripod again. And I'm just gonna pull it towards the middle and blend it. And you know what? It, mine is blending into the background at the top, and I don't care, it's fine. Uh, this is really helpful when you have to leave a place. Like you can do the sketch, and the sketch can be done in like, you know, 10 minutes, and then you gotta pack up and go. That's okay because you have your guidelines down. You just need to follow the map. And you know what? You make your own colors up as you go. Like these other clouds, I am just doing different variations of blue. So maybe I'm gonna add a little bit of, what is this? I can add navy, no, no, no. I can never remember this, indigo. I'm gonna add a little bit indigo, even though it's darker than the uh, other color, it's no big deal. I am going to, all right, so I'm just blending those out and the front two I'll just probably leave white because it's not gonna be about the clouds, guys. It's gonna be about the sunset, right? Now with the sunset, like I said, I kind of just wanted to make it pink and orange and all that. So I'm gonna start with yellow because yellow is my lightest color. And I'm gonna use, this is, I love it. Hansa yellow, Hansa medium, I think, and um, Quackerdome, Quackerdome gold. Um, I would definitely use yellow ochre, but this is what I have. And I'm just going to do the sun like that for now. It's not going to stay like that, but um, once I get some like other colors in there, so there's that. And then I'm gonna, I kind of started mixing up this pink a little bit. I'm just like pulling pink off and adding water to it so it's not gonna be too like crazy bright. And I always start light because you just never know. And I'm gonna pull it along the horizon line a bit just to bring that color in. And then blend it out. And pink and blue are gonna make purple. So just keep that in mind. It's subtle at first, I know. But I do my stuff in layers. So now I'm gonna come back down to the um, ocean and I'm gonna do another layer. Now I'm gonna focus on my spots where I used my pen. So quick and easy, couple strokes, nothing fancy. I'm gonna clean my brush off and I'm gonna blend it out. I'm not blending it into the swell part. Those are gonna stay white for now. So now we've created the middle, uh, I don't know, the middle tone. And then I'm gonna work back up into the sky and the clouds. I'm gonna start with the clouds. Like, um, I'm gonna add indigo into this back cloud because I think it needs to be darker. I think I did it the the reverse the first time, which, oops, my bad, now I'm gonna fix it, okay? So, 
put some indigo down. That's really dark. Indigo is indigo is like a very, very pigmented color. So I just add some more water and I'm going to come in and darken up this cloud all in one swoop. And then I'm going to take the concentrated indigo and add it to where my, my um, pen lines are and follow the map. And then I'm going to take um, my, I'm going to mix the ultramarine because that's what we decided this was and the phthalo blue to get like a bright kind of blue color. And I'm going to use that in my middle cloud only on the pen line. And then I'm going to blend it out. I'm going to pick up a little pink, get it to be a little darker, not much. I'm going to run it there. I'm also going to run it underneath the first cloud and then I'm going to blend the two together. cleaned off my brush because I was getting a little bit too pigmented. And what I might do is add some more blue in there, just depends. Because we are going to put a little bit of the color into the water as well. Alright, I'm going to take the yellow that we mixed up earlier going to splash it into the water a bit. Not too much. And kind of blend it out. So like that. I'm going to do some over on this side too. Like that. I'm going to take the pink that we mixed up and mix a little bit into the yellow to make like an orangey color. Here on my brush, and I'm going to pull that into the water. I can blend it out. Like that. Now I'm going to take this green that we made earlier and I'm going to put it into the indigo because in the back of the ocean it has a really dark line. I want to define it a little bit. I'm going to come back into the ocean up front. another layer. This will be my third. And I might add I'm gonna add some blue in my hair. That is real dark. I my brush really good. So right before the swells, like right above them, it's real dark. So I'm going to take some phthalo blue and put it up top. all wet so they're all kind of like mushing together which is fine I like that I'm gonna put some more here there's 
So gray, I'm using Payne's gray. Can you guys see that? No. So Payne's gray is right here in my palette. Oh, my paintbrush is really wet. So I want it to be super dry. And I want to make sure that I'm picking up just a little bit of pigment. Then I'm going to add texture to the swell. By dotting it on. I just have two. Oh, it's bleeding a little bit. That's all right. I just want to add some texture to it. I also want to darken up the areas right behind, oop, right behind the swell, but I'm nervous it's going to like bleed into everything because it's so wet. Oh, your color choice is everything. Um, it's all about knowing your color, knowing your palette and knowing what mixes well together. A lot of people like to change up their palettes a lot and I recommend not doing that. I recommend you sticking with some colors and making them work and figuring out what colors do work. I think that we should do some purple. Indigo and purple together make a really good shadow. So indigo, purple, where's my purple right here? So I just added a mix of What's my purple? Violet, I guess. I don't know what purple that is, but purple and indigo together. And I pulled it down. I need to deepen up this water a bit. It's just not working for me. So I'm gonna take that purple that I use. I'm gonna mix it in with that blue. It's not gonna turn too purple. And I'm gonna add some um, phthalo blue to it to become more ocean-like. My ocean is green, so I'm gonna take this mixture that I made earlier and kind of smoosh it in there too. And now I'm gonna come back in. I've done way more than three layers tonight, but I mean, everything's real wet. It's hard to get your deep tones. You really have to let things dry to make sure that you get your deep tones because they can blend out and kind of like, um, bleed into each other and then they become less of, I don't know, the deep, dark color that you wanted it to be. Just a little bit of blending out, just so it doesn't look so harsh. Oh, I might have just taken that one away. We might add, re add that one. That happens. Oops. I don't want to overwork this, but I do want those to pop a little bit more. Blend that out. I'm going to take my pink and touch it into the sky a bit more. Phthalo blue to these. I'm working around my tripod, so it's a bit awkward. I'm trying not to bump you too. All right, I'm gonna add those to the little um, dark spots that I added on the clouds behind it. I think I'm done. All right, everyone. Until next time, I'll see ya.